and I'm here to do a haul this haul is from the International Quilt Festival that was in Rosemont Illinois the suburbs of Chicago and I didn't buy a whole lot because I didn't get a chance to walk around and I did get a few free things so I thought that I would just share those with you as well <laughs> so I am going to start with this large bag it actually came from connecting threads and I actually got three fat quarter packs and sometimes I buy fat quarter packs and then I will separate them and use them as gifts for my scrap quilting club or any other groups that I need door price things for so this set is botanical blooms and it's a 38 piece fat quarter so anytime I can buy fat quarters where the end price is less than two dollars per yard in a bundle then I will go ahead and buy that and the price is sixty nine dollars for this so it was would have been seventy six at two dollars each so long as it's less than that amount then I will go ahead and buy it and I haven't utilized this a lot again connecting threads make their own fabric lines so it's pretty interesting the bundle and I don't have it apart and don't want to take it apart right now but again it has 38 different fat quarters in it so I thought that was a good purchase now the other things I thought were even better buys this fat quarter set here is called evening romance and it's 30 pieces and for those 30 pieces, I paid $46. So that's way less. So it would have been $60 even at just $2 per fat quarter. And most of your fat quarters are costing anywhere from $3 to $3.50 a fat quarter. So I felt like these were really good buys. I didn't get out a lot. So Connecting Threads was the only other booth that I visited other than the one that I actually worked in, which was Fabritique. So this fat quarter bundle here is $46 and it has 34 fat quarters and that one is really below the $2. So for 34 fat quarters that would be $68 and so I paid almost like a dollar and 50 cents or less per fat quarter here so again i just got these and thought you might enjoy seeing them the name on this fat quarter is tropical days fat quarter sampler so i actually that was all that i purchased from connecting threads and then they actually put the bag in here and there's a company that was at the show called Rainbow and they are a cotton textile company and they are utilizing these companies on the back. Alexander Henry Fabrics Connecting Threads, Maywood Studio, Northcott. They're cotton that's used to make their actual prints are from Rainbow. So this was the second year that I've seen them at the show. So I'll put these back in the bag and then I will show you what I got for working in Fabric Teeth's booth and then I will show you what I purchased so they had this really cool panel and the weird thing is I just saw a quilt that was in the American Quilter magazine that was made out of this panel but um, really pretty panel it's like one color on one side and then you turn it and a different color on the other so as you go through the print it changes from top to bottom so it's got these circle things that are up here and I'll try to show you the other side too but it's botanical a lot of leaves and I'll look and see what the name of it is in just a second 
and I just want to show you the other side as well so here's where I was talking about the big circles like medallions are in it and it's by free spirit and it's by Sue Pen Design and it's PWS P001 Shine. That's all that's on here to identify this particular fabric. But just beautiful. And I thought that this would make a good quilt where I could use it sort of like a panel. And in the AQS magazine, it was also used as a panel of sorts. So that's the print and then they had two coordinating fabrics that went with it so I purchased <laughs> I did not purchase this she gave me this for free so it still goes with this design this is called glow and it is PWSP 004 and it's more in the rust tones have some teal some of the colors that are in the print coming out and then I also got one yard of this one in the teals. And let's get you the number on it. It is also called PWS P004 Glow. But you've got one glow that's kind of in the rust colors and then one glow that is in the teal. So if you are interested in this, this is new fabric that just came out. Maybe you can Google it and see if you can find it. And then the only other thing that I got for free is this panel. And it's going to be way too big to show here. So let me zoom out as much as I can. And this panel has a price on it. It is $17.95. And it's uh, a tree. And I think it's called Family Tree. Let me see. Here it is on the salvage. So it says, Windham Fabrics Present Wonder by Carrie Blossom. Pattern number 50763DP. Tree of Wonder. And so it's just this huge tree panel. And I thought that it would probably be really cool to have as a panel quilt and then expanding on it and making it into a border but just really pretty and I love that the tree had the text going through it and so that's the main reason why I wanted it so Marion the owner of Fabric Teak she actually gave me this pattern for free it was actually the last one that they had so I know she does not have any more of this or she didn't have any more at the show I'm not sure if she had any more at home though so those pieces those four pieces i actually got for free and then i also purchased some other stuff she had for sale she had african print fat quarter she had six in a bundle for they're $13.95 originally but she had them for ten dollars and i only really wanted this map of africa but it has some giraffes and things like that. And I could have gone through and picked other ones and rearranged them. But I didn't want to do that. So I just paid the $10 for that. She also had patterns in her booth. So I got the Auntie's 2 Harbor Tote. And it's $9 that it's marked here. I'm not sure what these prices are because pattern prices also go up. But she had all of her patterns marked for $7.50. This one here is the two-hour tulip purse. It was also $7.50. I actually got another one of those. So if you are interested in winning this pattern, please type in the comment section, I'm in. And then I will know those who want to actually be in the running for the pattern so i only have the one to give though and then i also bought a fat quarter jacket i have made a fat quarter i have made a sweatshirt jacket before and i wanted to check out their technique as compared to mine so that's why i got those three i also decided maybe it was time for me to learn sashiko 
So I decided instead of getting a big panel, which she sells a lot of, I decided to get one of her kits. Her kits will come in a Ziploc bag and you have your fabric and the fabric is doubled so you can either use the fabric doubled when you are doing your stitching or you can use it as a backing piece and then I just decided to do something simple with the clamshell so I could just do continuous sewing so that came in the pack also and if you don't get them in the pack they're either $9.95 or $11.95 and the pack itself is $15.95 which is the equivalent of this but some of these may cost $11.95 so you may have to pay a $2 surcharge but then I also got the needle pack for it as well as the thread that's needed for this so when I travel now or when I go somewhere this will be something that I can take and maybe I can learn how to do this and the nice thing is is that it's not recommended that you use a hoop for this either so that would be really interesting. And then the last thing that I purchased were some fabric. And I am blocking how you pronounce this fabric. And I'm trying to see if I've got it on any of the salvages that I have here. Here it is. It's coca. It's called coca. I don't know if you can even see that in the lights here. But um, very interesting prints that I thought would be really good for bag patterns. So I got a few of these. And they're nice and thick. They, they don't feel like canvas duck, but they feel like a mix between linen and the canvas duck. Because they are pretty stiff and that's why I think they would make great bags. And then I also have one with the red. And then it also has like a leopard running through the print. Interesting. So these will have to be put into a project where I have to pay attention to orientation of the print. I'm so busy looking that I can't talk. Again, here's another coca print. And it's got birds here, and all the birds are upright again, so I have to pay attention to how I place that into a quilt project or into a tote bag or something like that. Just depends on what I decide to do with it. And then I've got the same thing here in blue that I had in red with the leopards. So all of this came from Fabric Teeth's booth along with all of these items here so quite a bit came out of her booth and the reason why is because I did not walk around a lot I just um, could not find time to walk around it was so busy and I was actually working with her so wanted to make sure she wasn't in the booth alone so we and only time we separated was when we went to the restroom or if we were eating lunch so And my friend of Iowa Star Quilt, Cynthia, her husband Greg makes press boards and she uses these at the show. And I know you can't see the whole thing, but I'm going to go ahead and open this up now. I just didn't want to open it while I was traveling because I didn't want to get the white too dirty. So, but they make design boards. And I have not measured this design board. If I remember, I'll put the measurements on top of the screen. Or I'll see if I can measure one bottom of it here as soon as I get it open. <laughs> so, it has, it's made out of a big piece of plywood and then it's just stapled down onto the back and he said that he didn't use a lot of staples because he wanted you to be able to replace the cover easily if you were you know as you're using this but let's see how wide this is so 
So it's about 24 inches wide and it looks like it's a square. So we'll just say that it's a 24 inch square, the same size as a long ruler. So yeah, so I do plan to take this to retreats and things like that and have this as a tabletop board and it's nice and stiff. It's got some batting underneath and it's got a piece of canvas stuck on top, but it's also nice and hard to give you a really good press. So I think this will be a lot easier than taking an ironing board and a big board when I go on retreats. So this is my new tabletop press surface. So thank you so much, Cynthia and Greg, for this gift. I really, really appreciate it. So this is actually all that I actually brought back from IQF. I didn't spend any money other than at Fabritique and at Connecting Threads. And I just decided that I didn't need a whole lot, but I did want to get something that I could share as door prizes or utilize in a project as a memory. But I have so much, excuse me, I have so much stuff that I'm like, I don't know how much more I can use or buy. So I don't know. So I give a lot of stuff away as door prizes in my scrap quilting club. I've been giving away a lot of the stuff that I showed you all last year. So I am going to be doling some of this back out to them as well. So that's it for this video. I will see you all next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a video or when I go live. Also join us on the Wednesday live chats. We go live at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs> Thank you.